This is the Chinese megacity of Shenzhen, a gleaming monument to China's economic miracle. In 1980, it was a town with around 60,000 residents. Now it's China's technological hub with a population of over 12 million. <laughs> Entrepreneurs, high-flying tech graduates and international companies flock here to join the tech revolution. Welcome to Shenzhen. Shenzhen sits north of Hong Kong in the Pearl River Delta, one of the most densely urbanized regions in the world. The area has an estimated population of 120 million people. In 1980, Shenzhen was dedicated a free economic zone, an experiment in market capitalism in communist China. The effects were explosive. Shenzhen's population skyrocketed in just over 30 years. The city has a massive migrant workforce. Over 4 million residents stay during the week and then return home on the weekend. But it's tech hardware that's put this city on the map. If Silicon Valley dreams it up, then this is where it's made. This is Huachang Bay Market, arguably the world's largest electronics market. Filming here is banned, hi, 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 hi. but here's a sneaky peek. The market's neon-lit corridors stretch across multiple buildings and many floors. The stalls sell everything from the latest gadgets to the tiniest screws, and many items are rip-offs, Chinese fakes of US products. But if you wanted to, you could buy all you need to build your own smartphone or 100,000 of them. Because Shenzhen draws in workers from across China, its food scene is just as varied as its population. If you're looking for the full banquet experience, Shang Palace and the Shangri-La Hotel has got you covered. Their dim sum lunch is a feast for the eyes and the mouth. It's a showcase of authentic Cantonese cuisine. Or try something a little more casual, such as Chinese hot pot. A simmering pot of soup stock is kept on your table and you put your choice of ingredients in. One of the most famous variations is flavored with Sichuan pepper, so watch out, it packs a serious spicy punch. When you get the bill, you'll notice QR codes. Here in Shenzhen, they're used by locals to pay for just about everything. Simply scan the code and the money's transferred. Sounds great, but there's a hitch. You can't use them unless you have a Chinese bank account. So a technology to make life easier only works if you're a local. It looks like we've got the first match. Finally, why not enjoy some sport? Look at that. Shenzhen style. Attacking the Blue Engineer. This is Robo Master, a competition put on by local drone and tech company DJI. <laughs> Student teams from around the world compete, using a variety of self-made robots to shoot each other and destroy the opposition base. Ammunition as well. That's right. The competition aims to foster engineering and programming and keep Shenzhen the forefront of the tech revolution. <laughs>